Vaccine distribution does appear to be improving in Colorado, but even the governor admits we, we have a long way to go. Denver 7's Addy Guajardo sat down with the man in charge of delivering supplies from point A to point B. And Addy, no surprise here, the main issue is there just are not enough shots to go around. And it is a very limited supply. For some perspective, Colorado is home to 5.7 million people, and we're roughly receiving about 70,000 vaccines. Now, let's be clear. What we have received is based on a system that calculates the vaccines the U.S. receives and the population in each state. Walgreens and CVS are taking a portion of those shots to get them into the arms of residents and staff at long-term health facilities. So far, they've received 80,000 of 121,000 shots they've tack they're tackled with distributing. Now, vaccines at long-term health facilities should be completed by mid-January and no later than January 28th at assisted living facilities. Now, we're also in phase 1B, a task that includes getting shots to Coloradans 70 and older, a population in Colorado of 562,000 people. Once we get out of the long term care facility, we are also getting vaccine into the retail pharmacies that will help uh, increase the vaccine available or the appointments available for the over 70 population. Our biggest constraint is vaccine availability. Now, federal clinics are also getting those vaccines out to underserved communities. Larger hospitals and public health agencies are getting setting setting up those clinics. How many doses each county and each provider receives depends on the requests they put in availability in population in that area. Health officials also hope to finish giving those shots out to those people that are 70 or older by the end of February. Now, various counties are also putting up websites where you can go sign up and get alerts when it's your turn to get the vaccine. So far, more than 138,000 Coloradans have received the vaccine. More than 5,000 have received that second dose. Reporting live, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. Addie, thank you very much.